This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. And welcome to the 2 p.m. update with me. That's David White. Uh, we've got a market that's uh, a little bit up, a little bit down. Yesterday, as I left the show, I said one thing to watch out for is uh, in a bear market, you want to be doubly uh, sure of uh, signals. And I thought uh, that I couldn't uh, be long until we get a retest of 3636. Well, we're getting that test today. No verdict on that. Uh, yesterday, I was kind of watching into the close. Uh, many of the option market makers uh, trying to uh, hit 3,600 on the S&P cash. And I, it was hard. You know, generally options in the short term um, don't overwhelm uh, massive short positions, i.e. squeezing the shorts. I think we had that yesterday and a little bit this morning. Then at 10 o'clock, of course, we had economic numbers. But not only that, uh, but we had uh, about the exact same time uh, some of the folks uh, from the union about the railroad strike. I think we've all been kind of looking one way and forgetting about that on the other. Uh, the uh, companies say they won't lock people out. Um, the railroad workers are kind of hinting at a uh, brownout. Is that what it's called? Blue flu? I know if it's police. But uh, that's kind of it. We did have earnings this morning and kind of all over the place. Nothing real good, nothing real bad. Uh, the big winner was uh, uh, Wells Fargo. It's up three and a third percent. On the downside, we had Morgan Stanley down. It's down about 3%. Again, if this was any other day, you probably wouldn't say a great deal about it, especially after yesterday's earnings. Anyway, hang on for the show and uh, discuss this and much more. The reality is that